Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are talking about how to pierce the nail. So I have these lovely gold rings and I am going to walk you through how to put the hole in the nail to be able to pierce it. First things first, before we get started, I am wearing a Glitter Bells color on this nail and it is called She's Electric and it is the most beautiful blue. I love it. The reason why I'm wearing a glove like this is because I'm hiding all of her ugly sisters. I'm going to be doing these nails shortly, but they aren't done yet, so I wanted to film this anyway, so here we are. The first thing I'm gonna do is, obviously we've done this nail, we've finished this nail, it's top coated, it's painted, it is ready to wear the jewelry. I'm going to pick out the jewelry that I want, which is going to be these gold guys. And I think I would actually prefer to put in two. So there's one, and there's another one. These were ordered ages ago, and they were ordered probably from eBay or Amazon, if I had to guess, most likely Amazon. They were just something I came across and decided to order, and I've just recently decided that they really deserve to be used. So the trick to doing this is control. They will send a tool with the jewelry when you get it. There's a little tool for drilling into the nail. I personally don't enjoy using that tool, so what I'm going to use today, what I'm going to show you how to use is this bit. It is not what this bit is made for. I can't honestly tell you what the name of this bit is, but it is a cuticle type bit. Although I found it too harsh for that, I wasn't comfortable using it for that, so I'm going to use it for this instead. So I'm going to put my drill bit in. I have the Erica's MT20, so that's what I'm using. I'm going to turn it on and I'm going to turn it down, just a little bit more than halfway. So when you're doing this on your client, you're going to use all the same process um, obviously I'm gonna be holding my hand a little bit different, but the biggest trick here is to make sure everything is steady. I'm gonna do the inside corner. I think I like that better. I'm holding my hand below. I'm holding my hand basically where it's going to go through. Let's shut this off for a minute. I'm holding my hand where it's going to go through because I'm going to drill through like this and I don't want it to push through and there be a jerk reaction. I'm also going to be holding the finger steady with my thumb. So this is going to ring true when you're doing this on your clients as well. You're going to need to make sure that you're holding everything steady. Let's turn the drill on again. Now I am going to pick my spot, which is going to be right here. I am gonna have to tip it a little bit just because of the angle of my nail. And I'm going to slowly, very little pressure, let it, just let the drill bit work. I don't want to push too hard. There. Perfect. It's hard to see. So I'm going to do the second one in the same manner. I'm going to reposition things, holding my finger behind, holding my finger, figuring out where I want it, and allowing it to do the work. I'm also anchoring with my pinky finger. There. Okay, let's turn that off. Now I've gotten rid of the dust and I have the holes that I've drilled. So the easiest way that I have found to putting these on, because they can be tricky sometimes, is to take where the opening is. I know this is gonna be hard to see for you guys, but it comes together right in front of my tweezer. And instead of trying to pull it open this way, instead of trying to open it this way, I am going to pull this part towards me and push this part away to open that. Now I have a nice opening. I'm going to hook it through, bring it through the hole. I'm gonna bring it around and I'm gonna push it back together. Okay, so we have the first one in and now I'm going to do the second. So again, 
I'm going to open this up just enough to get it on. So now I have an open ring. I'm gonna kind of work the angle a little bit. Bring it through, make sure it's through, and push it back together. Okay. Oh my goodness, that is the most fun. Look at that. Ah, oh, I just love that. So if you have any questions, pop them down below. Again, I am wearing the Glitter Bells Gel Polish in She's Electric, and I love it. So beautiful with the gold. I love navy and gold. Let me know down below what colors you would use. Like, would you use gold? Would you use silver? Would you use blue? What color would you like to see the best? So there's going to be an end card coming up. On the right is going to be a video that I think you should watch, and on the left is going to be a video that YouTube is gonna suggest that you watch. I really hope you watch them both. And again, if you have any questions, you can contact me on my Liquid Chrome Nails Instagram, and you can also shop Glitter Bells through the Nail Throne and use the code liquidchrome for 10% off. I hope you have a great day.